Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Keith Ferrante is who we're looking at today, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to Mark Scott for sharing this. In the past, we did a video on Keith and his school where you can spend $5,000 to become a certified prophet. Well, he's still got that school, but please understand, there is no such thing as learning how to be a prophet and getting certified. And there are no emerging prophets. God either gave you that gift or he didn't. On his main page, you can get prophetic consulting from a variety of people. And once again, prophetic consulting is not biblical. A true prophet speaks according to God's leading. You do not declare yourself a prophet and then invite people to come to you for prophetic guidance, and especially not for a price. We've got Dana McClure, who carries a strong breaker anointing. Nonsense. And you can click here to set up a consultation. So you fill out a form, and they've really covered themselves legally by making you accept all responsibility for anything that happens afterwards. And as we can see, it's $200 for 30 minutes and $300 for an hour with a particular prophetic word. And of course, this is non-refundable. We've got Wendell McGowan that claims he has a long history in the prophetic, and his price is also $200. Or you can choose Magnus Sun, who brings people to Heaven's Council for their situation. Sure he does. He's also at $200. Or how about Keith's wife, Heather, who's also at $200 for 30 minutes. But if you want to go with the big dog himself, Keith Ferrante, then we've got some options. You can pay $25,000 for 12 sessions. That's over $2,000 per session, which is more than 10 times what the others are scamming you for. Or you can do a single session for only $1,000 to see if Keith is a good fit for you. But if you want only one session and don't want the $25,000 package, then it costs $3,500. What a con. Why would anybody do that when they could do the 1,000 session test? But then again, why would anybody do any of this? Look, I know nothing about any of these people, but if they're going along with this scam, then they are to be marked and avoided. And you're not going to be surprised when you see who endorses this money-making man, Keith. Dan McCollum, the co-director of the Bethel School of Prophets. Mark and avoid. Chris Valaton from Bethel. Definitely mark and avoid. James Gall, who we've exposed in the past. Another mark and avoid. Georgian and Winnie Banoff, which we've exposed in the past and are definitely to be avoided. And a bunch of other people that just by association and support of this money-making scam, I have to say we should be very suspicious of. And you can find all sorts of videos exposing these false teachers here on Revealing Truth. 25 on Chris Valaton alone, not to mention Georgian and Winnie Banoff and their grave soaking, being drunk in the spirit, and Georgian releasing an anointing that he says will make 80-year-olds look 40 years younger. My friends, the leaders in the New Apostolic Reformation are dangerous to your spiritual health, and we've been warned by God speaking through the apostles and the true prophets in the Bible. These are the greedy people in 2 Peter 2, 3 that make up stories and lies to take your money. The wolves in sheep's clothing Jesus told us about in Matthew 7, 15. The people of Romans 16, 18 that deceive the naive with smooth talk and flattery. The ones in 2 Corinthians 2, 17 that unlike the apostles, these people are peddling the word of God for profit. These are the false apostles of 2 Corinthians 11 that disguise themselves as apostles of Christ, just like Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Titus 1.11 tells us teachers like this must be silenced because they are upsetting church families by teaching for shameful gain what they shouldn't be teaching. This false prophecy movement and the greed involved is what I believe Ephesians 5.11 calls unfruitful works of darkness. And we are simply following scripture and exposing these people in hopes that it will open your eyes. 
Modern day prophecy is one of the most dangerous movements out there because Jesus told us that many that call him Lord would claim to have prophesied in his name, yet Jesus never knew them and they will go to hell. Don't be one of those people. Stop following these deceivers and read your Bibles. We're going to leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your thoughts below. And until next time, take care and God bless.